Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Have y'all ever heard of American pickers picking the back rows of America? Have you ever heard of Matt part-time pickers on YouTube? Have you ever heard of Lonnie from Garage Flip Flip Garage The Shed? Whatever. Have you ever heard of the Cincinnati picker? Have you ever heard of the Commonwealth picker? Have you ever heard of my boy Dave? I call him Pete TP from Kentucky. The Tesla picker. He picking for a Tesla. Yeah, well, this Kevin from St. Louis. And I just want to tell y'all, whoo, that we picking the hood too. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, sorry for the prolong. But, um, hey, something in the way right there. Anyway. I hope y'all voted. I voted last week. You know, today is election day. I don't know when I'm gonna post this video, but today is the third, November the third, election day. I voted last week. But anyway, yeah. So y'all stay in line, bring a sandwich, whatever. Y'all just do what y'all gotta do and vote. People die for that right, and it's your it's your your right to go out and vote. That's how you control stuff. You know, when they get in Washington D.C., they can do what the hell they want to do. But right now, you in control. Go control. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, y'all. Yeah. I just want to go over what I sold. I sold like... Yeah, what the hell was that? The hell, you get old, all kind of stuff start coming out. I don't even know what that was. Was it a burp and something else mixed into it? I don't know what the hell that was. Anyway, whatever. Hey, I just want to go over some stuff I sold, like I said. Okay, first off, I sold this Ginzu. Y'all know what this is. Ginzu bagel, bagel cutter. Ginzu. I paid $4 for this. This sold for $19.60. I think I charged $5 shipping or something like that. Okay, next up. I got the battery charged. That's why the box opened. But anyway, I didn't charge the battery for this. This is a remote control truck. If you watch the videos that I... I sold two. I sold both of them already. This one sold for forty five dollars, eight dollars shipping. I put a note in there. I said, um, sometimes you gotta leave notes, y'all. And I, I try to leave a thank you note in all of my stuff. I try to. Sometimes I forget. But I left a note. It said, thanks, thank you. Then it said, this truck is twenty five years old. Twenty five years old may need a new battery. I put my down. <laughs> it's supposed to be May. M-A-Y, not M-Y. My battery. My need. What the hell? Anyway, y'all. So sometimes, y'all, I'm going to give y'all a tip. Leave some notes on the postage sticker, handwritten. You know, leave a little note in there saying thank you for your purchase. You know what I'm saying? That ain't hard. You know what I mean? So sometimes do that. Okay, next up. eBay. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if y'all been having this problem or not. But sometimes you sell stuff. eBay still have your stuff posted after you sell it. It's about... Excuse me, what the hell? Anyway, this is about the third time that somebody bought something that I had sold already. So I'm going to have to send them uh, a refund. And um, I might send them something. I don't know. But I'm going to send them a refund and tell them, you know, eBay, I'm going to search to find out when I sold it, and I'm gonna send them. I'm gonna send them a, a, a screenshot of that that I sold it already, and eBay messed up. So it was a we a Def Jam rap rapper we game with the microphone in it. You know, it was, it was a, it was a bundle. You saw you all saw those bundles before. It's called Def Jam Rap Store. You know, and I sold that already. Okay, next up, y'all. I got it on the scale over here. Let me get it off the scale. Okay. I sold this. Mr. Clean. The Mr. Clean, um, shit. Mr. Clean Auto Dry Series All in One Car Wash Kit. Okay. The thing about, the, I paid $4 for this. The thing about this, the cleaning material, the cleaning stuff in here was worth more than this. This is $25. I sold this for $25. It's got everything in there. 
Got the sprayer, the nozzle, the wash pad. It was brand new. It's got everything in there. I sold this for 25, but I took the cleaners out. And I sold one off for 25, and I sold the other one for 15. So just the cleaners by itself was worth more than this. So anyway, y'all, I sold this for $25, and I think I charged $8 shipping for this. And then next up, y'all, it's a Disc Network Power Plus. I sold this for $19, free shipping. Um, I paid, I think I paid $2 for that. $2. Next up, y'all, and I think I'm gonna give these people a refund too, and just send them this. I suppose have, I suppose to have like two of these left, but all I got is one. So, if I can't find the other one, I'm going to give them a refund and I'm going to send them this one. You know what I'm saying? So, they won't give me no negative feedback. Either that or I'm going to cut that price in half because it's two. I had two three-packs for $11.90. So, I can cut that price in half and say, hey, all I got is one. I give you a $6 refund or whatever. And I'm going to try either way. I'm going to try. But all I, all I could find was one of those. And they should have been together. Okay, y'all. Next up, you all know I sell these knife sharpeners. A guy bought three of them. I think I got them enough for $10 a piece. I dropped the price. But this is a silver one. See that one? He bought one of every color. Silver. Gunmetal. Let me take it out the pack so you can see. Well, it's taped. It's tape real good. There it go. This is the gunmetal one. Now, y'all seen that video way back in the day. I paid a dollar for these. I bought the whole thing. They had two, they had a dollar on them. I said, man, if I buy this whole thing, how much would you how much would you charge me for it? And he said, give me $20. I gave him $20. There was like 50 of them in there. But it was a dollar piece. This is the gunmetal one. And he bought the silver, gunmetal, and he bought the gold. But I, I also got some blue ones. I got some blue ones and uh, some red ones too. I just got a couple of blue and a couple of red. I didn't put them on on the uh, the thing. And here go the uh, the gold. I guess he's gonna get these to his to his family members or something. I don't know. But these one of the best knife knife sharpening tools you can have. I think it is. I made a video on it. You can watch one of my videos. I'll try to put a link down in the thing of the video. Anyway, I can't open it up. That's the gold. Okay. Now, all three of them, um, $31.50, and it's $9 shipping. I think I'm going to reimburse them some shipping money. But they were like $10.50 a piece or something like that. I reduced the price. Okay. This next one, these right here. I don't know what they are. Some kind of electrical stuff. But you can see how much I paid for that. Ten cent. This one of the Lowe's pickups. I had two of them on there. You get two for $18. Two for $18. I paid ten cent a piece for them. That's twenty cent, eighteen dollars. Twenty cent, eighteen dollars. I don't know what to tell y'all. And I gave free shipping on that. Next up, I made a video on how to wrap a, 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 a pie. Um, I'm sorry. A pie server. But I had to remake. I had to take it out the envelope and tape it some more. Because I was going too fast on the video. And I didn't realize I didn't tape it right. So it went slip out. But anyway, I sold this for $13.70. I had it on eBay for $18. I took $5 off and somebody bought it. So it's already wrapped. I'm going to have it on the screen, the picture on the screen um, of what it is. Okay, next up is eyeglasses. I sold a pair of Armex um, prescription sunglasses. You know, you guys know I pay a dollar for these for these glasses and sunglasses. I pay a dollar for them. That's how much I pay for them. Sometimes $2. I paid a dollar for these though. They sold for twenty-five dollars, a dollar twenty-five dollars. I don't know what to tell you. Look at these glasses. 
Look the name. Don't do like I did at first when I first did it. I got so many guns, I don't know what to do with it. When I first did it, I used to buy all of them. I didn't look at the name because I had success selling one and I just I had, didn't have time to go through these thrift stores to look the name up because there'd be so many of them. So I grab all of them, but I got containers full of that stuff. Anyway, so these sold for $25 and I charged $3 shipping and handling. And I made a video on how to wrap these, how to wrap them so they won't be destroyed if you don't have no case for them. But anyway, so you all look out for these glasses, but don't do like I did. Look them, look the name up, stand there for about 20 minutes and look the name up on each one of these glasses. Because you're going to end up with a ton of them. I'm just telling you, I can bring a drawer over here right now that's full of them. Uh, Y'all want me to? Okay, right, right now. Just hold on. This is just one drawer. I got two containers full of for the glass. This is one drawer right here. And I got about 50 more to put in this drawer. And you can see when I look them up, I um I write what they are on this bag right here. I don't know if you can see that. And then some of them that I put on eBay, I got when I put them on eBay. I got on eBay December something. I mean uh September 1st or something like that. I put the name on them, okay? When I put them on eBay. But you see that. That's just one. That's just one of them. But I done sold at least a thousand dollars worth of eyeglasses. And I paid probably about with for all these eyeglasses, probably about two, three hundred dollars because they're a dollar a piece. I probably got about three hundred pair. So I got my money back and then some. Plus that's over like two years so when i sell glasses i let y'all know get those glasses you know what i'm saying okay next up where those tennis shoes at oh here they are hold on a minute then here i sold a pair of high top converse tennis shoes um they called knee high a day for women, I, they say they unisex, but I don't know. I don't want to see no man in these. They like boots, knee high boots. They like that, but they converse tennis shoes. I put the, I put put it up on the screen, whatever. I'm just telling y'all. See a man and know something wrong. Um, next up, woo! I can I, I found these. Let me show y'all something. How about this bag right here? You can see I paid three dollars for it. This is an office supply bag, you know. I need just some of the stuff in there, some sticky notes, stuff like that. And I scanned some of the stuff that's in there. These came up. These gold, um, whatever they are, paper clips came up. So they were selling on eBay for, I want to say. Three dollars a piece, something like that. But anyway, I put two of them together. Got eight dollars and thirty cent free shipping. Eight dollars and thirty cent. I paid for that already. The bag. The bag just three dollars. Okay, next up is um. Uh, let me see what else. I sold another tennis racket. I sold a tennis racket last week, and I saw. Sometimes I, I sell. I get on the run with selling tennis rackets, and I need to sell all of them. I got about two hundred tennis rackets. This one right here sold for. Hold on. $23. I think I had 30. I think I had 27 on this and I took a $5 discount off. But I paid $2 for these tennis rackets. $2. This one sold. It looked like it's brand new. Look at it. Look like it's brand new. It's a vintage tennis racket. Um, I never heard this. Rawson, whatever. Rawson, Rawson Isle, whatever that is. I paid uh, $2 for it. I sold for $23, $7 shipping and handling. Look out for these tennis rackets. Don't do like I did. I, I started buying them, and they wasn't, I ain't list them. So I got about 200 of them, but I still buy them, though. I'm just saying. They worth it. Okay. Um, these are brand new. Um, 
Nintendo DS games. It's called Hidden Mysteries of Sel Selim Secret Witch. Selim Secrets Witch Tri Trials. Anyway, I think that's what they say of, of, 16, of 1692. Anyway, I had them on eBay for, I think uh, they were $18 a piece or something like that. A guy bought two of them. I made a video on how to wrap them, whatever. I had to put them in there because the guy didn't want them bent or damaged, the, the box damaged. So I put cardboard around them so the box won't get damaged. But I still got to send it in these because it's cheap. You know what I'm saying? It don't weigh nothing. So I still got to send it in these. I don't give a damn. So I try to send whatever I can in those. Save money. Okay, next up. I think that's it. Was that 14 items? Yeah, that's 14. Anyway, I don't know what to tell y'all. I gave I give y'all bolos every time I make a video. I give y'all bolos. So go bolo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go get that stuff. Sell it, y'all. Whatever, whatever y'all. Get out there and sell. I got thousands of things. I'm, I'm in the process of straightening my room up. I see my wife's stuff all neat. You know what I'm saying? My stuff is jacked. I don't know what to tell y'all. But I got some shelving I'm putting in here. Putting some stuff in, in, in the garage with the rest of <laughs> With the rest of the stuff, she could barely get her car in the garage. I got so much stuff. And then I don't even have a pinch of that listed. Do that make sense? Nope. But if another pandemic come, I'm, I'm just saying, if they shut everything down, I got stuff I could put on there for months. Months. I got toys that it'll take me two, three weeks to go through. Just with the toys. I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't want to keep collecting this stuff, but I can't pass by these thrift stores. Y'all help me. I'm asking for y'all help. I'm begging y'all to help me. Anyway, whatever, y'all. Hey, <laughs> y'all probably addicted too. Anyway, y'all, this is Kevin from St. Louis. I wanted to see if y'all like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, then I don't give a damn. Um, you know, subscribe, tell your buddies to subscribe. Um, whatever. But all I gotta do is now I gotta tell y'all. Woo! That we pick in the hood too! Ha ha! Peace!